I genuinely don't have any hard feelings toward the people who abused me or mistreated me or made me feel invisible or made me feel like I didn't matter. If anything, I'm thankful to them because they were my roadmap. It's thanks to them that I found my light. It's thanks to them that I decided what love felt like to me. And your life is gonna be like that. You're gonna encounter a lot of people or be in a lot of situations that make you feel horrible. And that horribleness, that, that negativity is pointing you. It's helping you reorient to your true self. And once you understand the purpose that they served, how can you harbor resentment? How can you hold on to a grudge? You needed those characters in your story, just like they needed you in theirs, to find your light. Now, if you try to explain that to them, they're not gonna get it because they haven't reached the level of maturity that you have, which is, I don't blame people. I understand the bigger picture. So you can't try to reason with someone who is still stuck in, why don't you love me? Why don't you give me one more chance? I can't give you another chance because you've done it so many times, I just don't trust you anymore. I don't trust you. You have broken our trust. Now, someone who's mature will be able to hear that. They'll be receptive to that feedback and they're gonna work on themselves. But a lot of the characters in your story that made you feel bad or that abused you or that gaslit you, they're not gonna get that, they're not ready. They're not ready. This is why you have to keep following your heart. Maybe in the future, they're gonna come around and they're gonna be a lot more aware of themselves and you will feel that. You will absolutely feel that. But if they're still sending you texts or emails or calling you and pointing the finger at you, then they're letting you know that they're not mature yet, that they don't have the emotional bandwidth to be in a healthy relationship with you. Your job is not to save them. That's the thing. Why would you revisit a lesson that you already graduated from? Think of all the pain and the hurt that you had to go through to finally love yourself or to find your way back to love. That's a lot of pain. Why would you go backward and try to save people who are gonna hurt you? There's more waiting for you. So you have to keep going higher in life. You have to keep going higher. Now, if someone's willing to change, meaning to better themselves, then that's fine because then they're ready to be accountable. But if they're unwilling to be accountable, you can't work with that. You have to move on.